In today's homes, comfort and efficiency are necessities, and how you will heat and cool your home are major decisions. Consider this 5,600 square foot home. It costs less than $70 a month to heat. Well, when I built my home in 2000, I wanted to make sure that I would have very low energy bills uh, because I intend to stay here for a long period of time. Most of these energy bills are for heating, cooling, and hot water. Looking at the way energy prices were starting to creep up, I felt that uh, the geothermal system offered the best uh, possibilities for energy savings. Geothermal energy systems use the natural warmth of the Earth to heat and cool your home. Nearly half of the solar energy that reaches the Earth remains stored in the ground at a constant temperature of about 50 degrees. With geothermal technology, there are two basic ways to capture and use this heat, with open-loop and closed-loop geothermal systems. Open-loop piping systems are used in rural areas with a well. In other locations, closed-loop systems are most common. They use a piping loop installed underground or in a pond, depending on the size of the property. Each closed-loop piping system can be placed horizontally, vertically, or with a directional bore to absorb the Earth's heat and move it into your home. During the winter, a geothermal energy system delivers heat from the Earth to a furnace. The heat is compressed to a higher temperature and moved through the home by forced air or radiant floor heating. During the summer, the process reverses. The geothermal energy system removes the heat from the home and deposits it into the cooler earth. The result is a cool, dehumidified home. Well, the first benefit that we looked at was the cost savings. In this home, our differential between doing a conventional system versus geothermal was about $10,000 more for the geothermal system. I'm spending about $60 more per month in my mortgage, but I'm saving about $110 to $120 a month in energy. And those savings are pretty typical for homes with geothermal in Michigan. But then when we looked further into the systems, we found that they're really environmentally friendly. Because we use renewable energy from the ground, we're not having to rely on fossil fuels. And since there's no combustion, it's very safe as well. So there's no risk of carbon monoxide in the house. Geothermal energy systems are quiet, dependable, and safe. They have few moving parts and require little maintenance. We get our system checked about once every two years just to make sure it's operating at its peak performance and so far there's been no problems at all. Geothermal energy systems also have no outdoor equipment. They maintain a comfortable, even temperature in the home, and they provide efficient, renewable heating, cooling, and hot water. Well, the number one recommendation is that these systems, through their energy savings, pay for themselves, and it's just a smarter way to use our resources today and, uh, and not use as much energy for heating and cooling.